What's going on you guys? My name is Lloyd Dixon. I run a channel called The Single Guy where I help single guys in their dating lives. And today I'm at Digital Marketer with the lifestyle section. We're gonna be adding some more new sections about this sort of stuff because I've had a lot of questions uh, from you guys talking about what can I do with my significant other to make a better relationship with them while I'm running my own business and being such a busy guy. So we're gonna get into that right today. I'm gonna talk about three different things. I'm gonna talk about why it's important to have such a good relationship with your significant other when you're running your own business or a digital marketer. I'm also gonna talk about why it's so challenging for them to tackle these uh, these problems that they're having. And the third one is I'm gonna give you some practical steps which are written right up here. Uh, they're gonna help you out in this area. So let's begin. Why is it so important? This is a big question that I get with a lot of people who are very occupied with their businesses. You know, they focus on them all day. That's their baby. That's really what they're focusing on. And it almost becomes another marriage for them, even if they are already in a marriage. So to get them to focus on it is very, very tough. But what I would encourage those people to look at is look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which we have right here. So Maslow's hierarchy of needs basically talks about why it's so important that we keep our relationships solid in our own lives. Now, if you look at what the basic needs of a human being are, number one, we are looking for things that are going to help us survive. We need food, we need shelter, we need those kinds of things. That's at the very base. Above that is going to be your basic safety needs. Then above that, is going to be your relationships, the things that are making you happy and the things that are making you feel fulfilled in life. If you're not satisfying those things, it's going to be hard for you to tackle the other areas of your life, which are the top two right here. So we have creativity, which is the things that you're going to be doing in your business, and then self-actualization, where you really come into your own and you're able to kind of make things flow and do everything correctly. If you don't have your relationships down, it's going to be difficult for you to run your business as effectively as you would like. And I think there's a testament to this in historical examples where you see tons of people that have a great partner next to them while they're growing their own business. And those that don't, they tend to be less productive, they tend to be less happy uh, and less motivated uh, to grow in their success. So. Hopefully from this you've seen by Maslow's hierarchy of needs, even if you're not focusing on a relationship right now, I would encourage you to because that's what's gonna be the fuel to get you to where you wanna go in your business. All right, now let's talk about the biggest challenges with that. So we've talked about one challenge, which is why it's important to focus on it. Now, the other thing too is, let's say you're starting your own business or you have something going on where you're an entrepreneur, you feel like you're your own boss the whole time. And so you feel like you just don't have time in your day to make time for that other person that's super important for you. So what I would encourage you to do is look to ways that you can schedule time in to make time for that person. Okay, so we'll talk about that a little bit in a second. But one thing that I've noticed that a lot of entrepreneurs tend to do is they tend to not have enough space in their own life. Now, as a dating coach, I've seen one of the biggest things that guys have problems with when they're looking for a relationship is they basically don't make space for that person in their life. They're working all the time. They have everything taken care of. There's no space for a woman to come in in their life and enhance it. And if there's no space for them, they're probably not going to find it. Now, let's say you are already in a relationship, but maybe you're squeezing that person out. It's going to be important to provide space for that person to be there to feel important in your life because you know that's one of the biggest driving forces about why people do anything is to feel important in life and if they don't feel important you're taking care of everything then that's not going to be a very good relationship okay so let's talk about some practical steps to be able to solve some of those issues number one we have set expectations as an entrepreneur i understand you got a busy schedule but it would be nice if you would talk to your significant other about that busy schedule before it happens, or maybe some things that you're gonna be doing later on that might be up in the air and you're not sure what's gonna happen. If you set the correct expectations, it prevents them from being disappointed or feeling like something's gonna happen and then it doesn't happen, you cancel on them at the last minute. But if you set the expectation, you say, hey babe, listen, I got a really busy week, here's the stuff that's going on, You know, I'm definitely gonna try and make time for you, but we have these things coming up and so it might be a tough week for us to do something. At least if you set the expectation correctly at the beginning, it can kind of solve some of the fights that are gonna happen uh, later on. Now, the second thing that you want to do is you want to schedule time. The funny thing is we schedule time for business, but how often do we schedule time for our personal lives and with our significant others? Probably not as much, but it's just as important, if not more important, as you've seen uh, from the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So schedule time in with your significant other. Now, I know people are sometimes resistant to schedule time for these sorts of things, especially when it comes to maybe more personal issues, <laughs> um, but you want to schedule time in. And Basically, what you want to do is see if your schedules are going to align. Now, I know some people are going to tell me, Lloyd, I don't have any time to spend time with my significant other. I would challenge that. For instance, I had a client that said he had no time for dating, no time uh, for his girlfriend, uh, but we basically found some times that they can do together. For instance, he liked to work out every single morning. So did his girlfriend. Maybe they could work out together. 
Or maybe when he goes to a conference that's nearby, rather than her staying at home, not doing anything, she can come with him. Now, it's also a give and take. She can't just always be doing stuff to fit his schedule. There's going to be some things that he has to do in his own life to go towards her a little bit. Now, a lot of people are resistant to this at first, but you'll see the more fun that you have with your significant other, the more productive you're going to be when you're actually working. And we'll get to that step in just a second. So find time together. So find the ways that you guys uh, can schedule time together. And look, if you have a really busy week and you just kind of want to turn off your brain, you don't want to go on that extravagant date, make sure that you provide that good one-on-one -on -one time, that good energy, that good fun time some other way. All right. And the last thing, turn off your entrepreneur brain. A lot of people, when they get into work mode, and this is something I get, you know, as you get older, as you get more successful, you stop remembering how to have fun. If you're not remembering how to have fun in a relationship, that relationship is not going to be a fun relationship. And what it should provide is it should provide almost a break from the everyday, you know, uh, logical brain that we use when we're out at work, when we're dealing with clients and stuff like that. So being able to remember to how, how to have fun is super important when you're in a relationship. And too many entrepreneurs, what I find is that they get caught into work mode too much and they forget to have that. And so if you forget to have that, it's probably not going to make to be a very good relationship. Anyway, those are the four steps. Uh, again, you guys, um, my name's Lloyd. I run the Single Guy channel. So if you're a guy who's looking to get help with this sort of stuff, you can email me at Lloyd, Lloyd at the single guy .com. Um, And yeah, thank you so much for having me, you guys. Good luck out there.